This is an epic adventure, uh, really, for all of us to arrive in Siberia to race on the ice. I'm really excited to see this beast will go uh, on ice in these extreme conditions. Yeah, for me it's quite a challenge as it's a double first. First time riding on ice and first time riding uh, the Indian Appaloosa. So yeah, to come here for this crazy journey, I decided to, to do it with two of my best friends. So the first one is Sebastian Lawrence from the Lucky Cat Garage and Sultans of Sprint. I decided to come here with him because uh, we are close friends first. Uh, he's the boss of the Sultans of Sprint uh, and I'm part of this championship for three years now. And uh, he's a crazy pilot ready for quite everything. So the most stupid is it, the most motivated he can be. Uh, and the other one is Dorsen, is uh, one old friend from my village. He's my helper on the championship for uh, one year now. And he's also the DJ of the championship, so uh, the opportunity was too nice. So I decided to bring him here to help us and uh, play some music tonight for the big party. It's a, no, it's a long way to Siberia. It's like 10,000 kilometers. It's long. <laughs> it's like my spike. The spike are long. <laughs> Yeah, what, what can I say about Bike Al Mile event? Clearly, the scenery is mind-blowing. But beside that, for all the contenders, it's a real personal challenge. At this event, there is like bikes, but besides bikes, you've got like cars, an helicopter, uh, a tank with a Bentley body. I mean, the, 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 the craziness of the machine is just at the top level. But what I really appreciate is um, the human relationship we have. I mean, we are sharing our uh, paddock tent with a, a Russian team. Uh, they're racing an, a Nual, a typical Russian bike. Uh, they don't speak a word of English. But I mean, sharing this same passion for speed and, and, and machines and, and, and so on. I mean, we find out a way to communicate. This is what this event is all about for me. So please, when you start, you have one mile to create your speed, so let's not do burnouts. We want to keep the vehicles going straight, no drifting. Uh, the point is to try to make maximum speed, and we need everybody to have a good course, and we're going to do that by trying to not have a bunch of wheel spin. Don't do burnouts when you're taking off from the starting line on any of the starting line. Let's just keep the place nice and clean. Let's have a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. is the biggest geo-rotor reserve of the world. It's about 600 kilometers long, 80 kilometers uh, wide. Here the, the length of the race is about uh, 1,800 uh, meters, I guess. Uh, it's the same as the depth of the lake. 
uh, the organizers here decided to um, to do a connection between the place we are and the races so that's why this is a, a bit of strange length for a race but uh, in the end I guess it's a good idea because you can feel the the presence of this lake here so On a one mile strip, uh, it goes well. It pulls quite good at the beginning. Um, it was more bumpy than what we expected. Um, the traction was good. The bike was going quite in line. Uh, but then at the first, I would say first pull, we, we started to, add, uh, to have some, uh, I would say, uh, issues with, uh, with the engine management, I think. So the bike was like cutting off a bit. It was something at 180 or something like that. But clearly for me that's not enough uh, and, and we should achieve more. So we, we have uh, not that much chances uh, because we have limited, uh, I would say, pulls. Um, fingers crossed. So uh, we have an electrical problem, probably electronic. Um, so now I'm dismantling the power commander system because uh, he's um, how can I say he's a bypass of the control of the SEU on the engine. So the SEU was the main computer of the bike, can't manage the engine uh, information. So uh, I'm dismantling this this system to. Uh, to give the control back to the SAU on the engine. We'll see if that's better or not. <laughs> Otherwise, I keep Otherwise, I we keep just have to drink thousands of vodka. <laughs> yeah, the conditions here are quite extreme, uh, even if you can't see it on the pictures, but uh, you have to know that at night it's like minus 25, minus 30. So when you arrive in the tent in the morning, yes, we're working in a tent. Uh, the bike is completely frozen. I mean, the engine is about minus 10 degrees. So uh, it's quite complicated to get the engine warmed and start. Uh, afterwards, we go on the racetrack and uh, she's sucking air about minus 15 degrees. And this racing bike has been, been to be part of the Sultans on the summertime in Europe. So to come here, I had to do many changes on the bike to, to be able to be in such cold temperature and racing on ice. So the first thing was on the bodywork. Um, uh, I built a kind of a nose cap to, to close this big mouth uh, Appaloosa had last year to avoid too many cooling on the cooling system. I've worked with the Nitrous Express to change all the, the nitrous system for the bike. The Dunlop also helped us to provide uh, proper tires to, to make the race, even if we drilled 300 holes in the tires. So, yeah, I've built uh, many protection into the fairing bracket on the backside also to protect, uh, you know, electronic devices to avoid if crush ties on the face of Sebastian. New paint job, super cool. And the steering damper also because uh, yeah first it's uh, it's something you you have to get uh, in the, the rules of these races and uh, actually after the first test it's impossible to race here without the steering damper so the tuning on the damper from Erlins is quite strong because we need a lot of torque in the direction to to keep it straight yeah I think that's all. <laughs>
So, as you know, yesterday was tough. Uh, we struggled with the engine management. Don't know why. We tried to reset the whole thing. Um, unfortunately, we bro broke uh, the first tire. Um, so th there were just one left. So we just don't give up and we were, I would say, good for last try, for one or two pulls. Uh, the first looks like the bike was running better, so we achieved 180. Um, even though we tried again, tire looks okay. So we tried again, but the second one was not, bet not, not better, unfortunately. So, I mean, for the first time, that's not so bad. You can say a good test, but clearly the bike is able for much more. Yeah, it's a sh good shakedown test. And after some repair, the bike would be perfect for Sweet and Sprint this year. Yeah, man! Cool, man! Boost, man! So we have a sentence, uh, Sebastian and I, when we are joking in French, was like in English, uh, good for nothing, ready for everything. So the, the opportunity to, to do it as a tattoo was too nice because this journey is such amazing. We decided to spend a day in Moscow to get tattoo. So we did it in Russian actually. Uh, that was quite funny. So now we have a, a lifetime souvenir about this journey. It's, it's, it sums up quite well our state of mind, I would say. He's coming. He's landing or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's minimum weight is seven tons. Seven. Minimum with no fuel. Seven tons. Yeah. This is not a kid, kid version. 